Hi everyone! So this is the first video I'm making that I have not got a plan going into it. I have no idea what's going to happen. All I know is that I have been not sticking to my budget. I've not been sticking to cash. I've been doing a lot of things on card and I'm feeling it basically. I'm feeling really out of control. I've been doing a lot of comparing myself to other people and frustrated that I'm not further along than I feel like I should be or that I've had the opportunity to be and just feeling very frustrated with myself. So if you're ever watching my videos or someone else's videos and you feel the same, just remember this is your own journey and it's so individual. Finances are so personal. You can't compare yourself to anybody else other than yourself. And I'm saying that very much to myself as well as anybody listening that needs to hear it. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you kind of the state of where my binders are at. We're also going to take the cash out of here because I just need to redistribute cash to appropriate places um, and feel a bit more in control so I can kind of start fresh and just not beat myself up about it and just get back to it because look, cash envelopes, empty. Every single envelope is empty. Um, so I'm just feeling a bit frustrated with myself. I need to go back and count everything. So what I think I'm gonna do is take everything out, get all my cash in a pile and then redistribute it. So I have no idea how this is gonna go, but we're just gonna do it together. I think what I need is I'm gonna use a post-it note and a pen and I didn't have time to like make this look all nice and print out a nice track and everything for it I just know that I needed to get this done um and if you're ever thinking of starting doing this by the way don't mess up good for perfect do it even if it's going to be messy so obviously we've got nothing in there so I'm going to put that over to the side and then in here let's figure it out so emergency so 20 40 60 81 10 20 30 40 50 150 in my emergency fund like i'm just so annoyed like where is that all gone so we've got 150 I think I'm feeling particularly annoyed because I had such a crazy, the last three months have just been so crazy and I haven't really had a chance to catch my breath and understand it all. And I've probably fallen back into some bad habits. I don't know what to do here, shall I? I don't know what to write on these trackers. Maybe I'll put a line across to kind of signify that it, it's a fresh start. That or I can just rub them all out. No, I think I'm gonna do that so I can keep it a bit quicker. Okay, nothing in travel, Christmas. Now, I don't think I've physically taken any money out of here, but I have spent some money on Christmas so far. So this should be 635 pounds. I've only got three weeks left of this, um, which should bring me to the goal of having it already, but I may need to redistribute some of this money, who knows? I'm gonna try not to because Christmas is coming, whether we like it or not, and we do like it, I am happy, obviously. Um, just, I'm stressed out personally at the moment, that's all. So, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 600, 6, 10, 6, 20, 6, 30, 6, 3, 5. So that's correct. So Xmas is six three five. Don't know whether to just keep this out and separate. I think I am actually gonna keep 
this in its envelope for now. Like I said, this is really, we're just winging it, playing it by ear. Um, because I don't really want to have to take anything out of here. This is one of those envelopes that I do want to leave. So we'll just leave that in there. Gifts, nothing, shopping, nothing, business. cross next to that so I know not to include it. We've got 60 in business. I feel like my energy in this is different to my usual videos and I hope that's not too <laughs> depressing. Um, I just really am frustrated at myself and I've been putting this, doing this off because I know that it's going to be painful. It's not a fun thing to do. Um, so that, I'm going to put that to the side. What have you got in here? 24, this is tax, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 55. So is that 155 or 255? Oh, good Lord. Yeah, 255. And that's another one that I'm gonna leave off to the side. In fact, I'm gonna put this underneath this because that can all go with that challenge. And there is not as much money in this thing as I was hoping there was gonna be. And this is another one that I wanted to just keep because I'm so desperate to get a car and the thought of going back to this is painful, but you've gotta do what you gotta do. So in here, there should be 465. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, and 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 465. going to leave that in here as well and if I have to come back to that fine do I just <laughs> I just don't want to take money out of any of the envelopes really that's what it is and then the only other place that I've got money in is in here so let's count that So we've got only 50 set. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. So that's 500 in 50s. 500, 20, 40, 60, 81, 600, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80. So what's that, 680? So in bank we had 680. Now, let's, uh, yeah, let's put this away. I am also gonna include, I, didn't really think about this properly before I sat down because I'm using my phone to film so I wanted to check online something but what I'm going to write down is online let's just say 300 okay now we've done that I think the next step is to figure out and take out the money in here so we'll see how it goes I asked you if you wanted to see me open this and a lot of you said yes. Um, oh my God, 
So if you don't know, this is my Quids Game 2500 Savings Challenge. And I've actually been using this just to save up my tax money. Um, so I've got some more to technically add to it here that needs to go in, but instead of putting it in here, I'm gonna put it in an envelope, I think, because this is just chaotic and stressing me out. Oh, I'm gonna break an nail opening this, I know it. Not me, not Hermione, you. There we go. Okay, let's keep this separate for now. Okay, this doesn't, this isn't actually as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Oh my God, look, I ripped that one. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, I think we'll be putting pound coins in here from now on. No more notes in this little piggy. Oh my God. Let's move some things out of the way. Okay, well that's that all empty. Put his little undercarriage back on. Pop that over there. So I think I better sort this and then count it. I'm not gonna put it into this just yet. So, tens, or oh, shall I? Let me take that out, it might help. I don't think I've got any 50s in here, so. And this is another bad thing about the piggy bank is now it's done all of this to the notes, which is super annoying. 2020. Here's one I ripped earlier. I can already tell this is going to be a nightmare to count because they're all folded.
right. So let's see what was in our piggy bank. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60. So that's 260. And the tens are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So that's 170. So that's 430 so far. And then the fives. 5, 10, 20, no. <laughs> Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Sorry, tw uh, yeah, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, sixty, sixty-five, seventy, seventy-five, eighty, eighty-five, ninety, ninety-five, a hundred and five. So a hundred and five. So we've got five hundred and thirty-five in the piggy bank. And then here, let me write that down. And to add is what is that? What was that? Um, oh my God, look, I've had a complete meltdown. 535. What is wrong with me? Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, 30, 40, 55. So 235. No. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, Three, four, five, two hundred, twenty, thirty, five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five. So two hundred and fifty-five. So I'm just going to keep that separate in here as well. I mean, look at that. I think that's probably the most money I've ever had in that holder at one time. So let's work out what we've got here. So 150 and um, 60 and 680 and 300, let's say. Okay. So let's just write down 1190 without the ones that I've X'd out and the P bank. And then here I'll do it with everything. So 150 plus 635 plus 60 plus 255 plus. Oh, I've added that twice now, haven't I? Um, plus uh, four, six, five. Oh, let me just start that again. Okay, so it's 150 plus 635 plus 60 plus 255 plus 465 plus 680 plus 300 plus 5. Three five is three thousand and eighty, including everything. And I know I mess up a lot with numbers and things, and I like to think that I'm a relatively intelligent person. But someone pointed out, like there are people that go and do accountancy courses and like learn all about it. So 
don't beat yourself up if you struggle with this like it is something that people study and i don't think we were ever taught in school i certainly wasn't like about money and i know it is numbers but it's not just one two three four five six seven eight nine is it it is there's a lot more to it and <sighs> remember accountants make a lot of money for what they do and that is maybe not physical cash but it is dealing with numbers and things like that so it's not difficult it's just not as simple as we might instantly think that it is so now i might just take some time off camera thinking about what i'm gonna do and where i'm gonna redistribute everything and just figure it all out so i'll see you in a minute when i've got a bit of a plan so i've just gone through and i've put everything into my cash stuffing planner of what i want to put where and i've had to make a few hard decisions and but necessary decisions of what i'm gonna put and where and get a bit real with myself and it is going to be taking a step back in certain areas but sometimes you have to take a bit of a step back to move forward so that's what we're doing so i think what we're going to do is i will start off with my cash envelopes so as you know these were all empty and i'm gonna fill up rent Today. I'm going to make sure, actually no I'm not, it's going to be just shy of 50 quid, but our rent's not due for another couple of weeks. Um, I'm not entirely sure what the date is today, but I know that it's not due for another couple of weeks, so I will find out the date right now because I'm going to need that, aren't I? Okay, so it's Wednesday the 10th of November. Yeah, so our rent's not due for like another 11 days. So... the november and today we're going to add in 1100 so that will just need an extra 50 quid between now and then which should be fine so we know this is 500 here i'm not going to bother recounting that five what i might do is find that ripped one so that can go back in fact i might use all of these ripped ones so they can go back soon so 500 in there so we need another 600 20 40 60 80 1 20 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 80, 300 so we need another 300 now 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 now just another 100 20 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 that should be 1,100 there now. I'm not gonna recount that, but if there are any problems, I will be coming back to this to double check it. I'm just doing that because those notes are all bent and they're just some notes to give back. I probably should have done those tens. Should I swap the tens as well? No. So that's rent pretty much sorted. Just another 50 quid needed in there which is manageable. In bills, it's going to get 300, but that's going to be 300 digitally. So that will be the 300 that I wrote down earlier that I don't have in cash. So um, we'll leave that as it is. In food, we're going to put 40. I'm going to take this from here. In fact, let me just sort these so that will get 40 is now that's 
40. And then with Pablo, he is going to get just 20. And that's with Pablo's food. Does anybody know how much it's going to cost roughly to get Pablo done? We wanted to do it before Christmas, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not now. But that's ideally what we wanted to do. But I'm not sure on time scales, him recovering and all of that. We need to look into it a bit more. Um, petrol isn't going to get anything. The car's pretty much full. Um, beauty, I know this seems silly, but I am having my lashes done tomorrow, so I am just gonna need cash for that. So we'll do ten, twenty, thirty, forty, five. there don't judge remember this everyone's individual this is just something that i need to feel myself and human um nothing for health miscellaneous or household with this money so that makes cash envelopes complete for what we're doing today and then sinking funds so i had to make the decision that nothing is going to go back in the emergency fund part of me was tempted to take it out of tax but i know that's my problem i can't take it out of tax tax just has to stay where it is which means the emergency fund just isn't going to get anything today and we are starting from scratch with that which feels really sad but it is just the way it is travel is not going to get anything oh okay so christmas i did actually spend some money the other day on christmas and i spent about 100 pounds so what i am going to do is take out 100 pounds from this I'm still going to continue to save these, but what that then means is I will have reached my goal, but I'm taking the money out to replenish what I spent. So let's take out a hundred. Um, pop that there. So that means we have taken out. And I'm not going to remove it on here or anything because I did reach my goal and I have spent it on what I was meant to spend it on. And um, I've just got a little bit more to add to it. And who knows, I might not add any more to it. That might just be it now, but I would still like to. So that's Christmas sorted. And I'm really pleased that we're keeping that money in there. Um, gifts isn't going to get anything. Shopping isn't going to get anything and tax uh sorry business isn't going to get anything or debt <laughs> but tax is but the majority of that is going to go into my quids game envelope and then any that i haven't sorry any money left over that doesn't quite meet one of the new numbers um is going to go into tax so i'm going to actually take this envelope and put it in here for now so what are we doing what are we doing gonna need 790 but what did we have in the piggy bank we had 680 so i'm gonna put six find 680 for this envelope 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 
20, 40, 60, 80, three. We've got 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 400. remembered that I need to take the money out of this car envelope as well. I know this is chaotic but it's what we gotta do to get us back on track. So let's take out the 20s here. Yeah, so that's 300. Do you know what I'm going to do before I carry on with that? Just to let you know, I'm going to put 250 back in car. Now, the reason I'm doing that is my dad gave me 250 pounds in my birthday card, which I'm putting towards the car. So I kind of don't want to touch that. And any money that I've added to that since is obviously going back into this, but I did just want to keep that 250 in that car envelope. So that is 10, sorry, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. 50 there so back to where we were in August but that's okay um, that's okay which means all this money left I know is going into these two envelopes here. So we've got 300, 20, 40, 60, 81, 420, 40, 60, 80, 100 there so what's that one two three four five hundred so we need another 180 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten is that right one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. So that's the six hundred, and now we need eighty. So that's ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. We don't need a hundred, do we? <laughs> I need to take out 20. Okay. <sighs> so this should be 680 here now. This is a good and bad feeling getting this all sorted. It's good because I've been meaning to do this and I'm just a bit disappointed in myself. So it's kind of bittersweet, but at least it's getting done. And I encourage you, if you're putting anything off financially that you know you need to do, go and do it because you will feel better afterwards, even if it's not particularly a nice process. 
So that should be 680 going in here. I'm going to put this in here. This was in my other binder, but you know what? I just think I'm going to put this in here for now. Or am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? No, I'll leave that in here. And then the rest of this, what have we got? I might have enough here to add into the quiz game challenge. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 110, which is right. So we've got 110. Let's see what we can do here. So, forty-five and fifty-five would be a hundred. I kind of want to leave a lower number. What I might do is just put in a hundred, and then keep the extra ten in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's colour in a hundred. And I'm going to take out 10. So this should be 780 in there. And then we've just got 10 to go in tax. Oh. So I'm gonna put 10 in here. So as I add to this and I get enough money in here to add to my quiz game challenge, that's where it will go. But at least me doing it this way, it means that all the, necess the necessary things are covered. Um, got food, car's got petrol in it, got money for my appointment tomorrow. We've got rent pretty much. Um, and it's kind of like a bit of a fresh start at this point. So although it wasn't the most fun video for me to do because it was a little bit stressful, I'm glad I've done it. And I now get a fresh start again. And it's a learning process. It's not always gonna be adding money left, right and center. And there are gonna be times when your binders are empty because you spend it all, but that is why we're doing this. It's trying to get on top of it and we can only be getting better right so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video